I'm getting bored with plugins. I really am. Now, look, here's the thing. I get sent maybe five, ten plugins a week. And, look, I, look, I check them all out. And I've, I've kind of got to the point where plugins are just all the same. And, like, this week, for instance... I got sent five different EQs by five different companies. Three of them are brand new companies and they were all just EQs. Um, and they were no, nothing revolutionary, nothing that really kind of was like, wow, this one's got this and this has got this. It, they all just basically were EQs. And I think I saw a video a little while ago about this and um, someone was basically comparing all these different plugins and kind of saying, you know, they, they're all very similar. And I think that's that's kind of where I'm at at the moment is I'm, I've spent thousands upon thousands of pounds on plugins and there are a few that are slightly different to others and... Here's the thing, is the, the, the plugins just, they're really not, they're, they're not getting me at the moment. They're not, they're not exciting me. Like I've got, I've got um, plugin subscriptions for Plugin Alliance um, and they'll bring out a new plugin and it's just like, I, I don't even bother really looking anymore. I used to I used to be really buzzed about new plugin emulations and new this and new that and these kind of new developments in plugins and it's been such a long time since something really cool and really kind of new and exciting came along that I I just I've really lost a lot of interest in plugins it pains me to say it because i don't want this to be the case and i think it kind of partly comes down to the fact that i've recently got the behind me you'll see the west audio ng tube eq and it's phenomenal it really is and it's it feels like a plugin you you use it like a plugin you use it with a plugin if you want to use mouse and keyboard to control it you can um, but also it's a, it's a piece of hardware that sounds phenomenal as well. And as soon as I started looking at that as a plugin, plugins started to be kind of be a bit, a bit meh. It's just, I, I just lost a lot of interest in plugins at the moment. And I don't know, and I can't, I honestly can't see where the plugin kind of development and the industry is going, where it's going to create something that's new and exciting. Like the last thing that actually came out that was like, wow, this is kind of a new kind of step in the right direction. This is something cool. This is something new and exciting was with Ozone 11. When And the only thing that Ozone 11 plugins aren't that good. They're all right. There's nothing wrong with them technically. But the what, what actually was great about that as a plugin was the, the stem separation um, which now logic has um, and it's pretty good um, ozone ozone kind of a little bit pushed a barrier with that and that was exciting but i i can tell you now like if we went back five years ago um and you look at UAD, what they were doing, bringing out all these cool plugins. There was like two or three a, a month, uh, every couple of months, uh, two or three new plugins came out. And there was this constant stream of great plugin emulations. And um, now I can't tell you when UAD brought out a decent plugin that was like, yeah, look at this. This is this is a this is a decent plugin. So I don't really know where the industry is going to end up going because there's 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 so what it what it comes down to is there's so many new developers at the moment and that's cool and that's brilliant but the problem I find is that there's a lot of 
there's a lot of kind of new developers who are developing these plugins and just creating the same stuff that was, you know, is already it's already out there. And look, here's the thing: is it there, there becomes a point where everything that's possible to create has been created. So you get to a point where an EQ comes out and it is just another EQ. And that's why you have so many of these little, here's a, here's an emulation of this great piece of hardware. And the majority of the time, look, they're not, they're not really emulations of hardware. They're, they're, just kind of plug in reimagination uh, reimagines of a of the piece of hardware it's like a lot of the time when i compare like spl iron um what else is in here that's plug in emulation um the mbt to the um to the kive audio version um what else is in there can't think what else i've got in here i've got spl pq um you know when i compare the plug in to the hardware uh, it's like uh, yeah, all right, you've captured the same curves, but it don't sound like the hardware. And I'm, I'm kind of in this situation now where I'm just not buzzed about plugins at the moment. Um, like Oak Sound bought out Bloom a little while ago and it, it kind of pushed a couple of boundaries, done something a little bit different. Um, used it for the first few days. I was like, yeah, this is all right. This is a pretty good plug-in. The more I used it, I was just like, yeah, it's all right. I didn't end up buying it after the 14-day trial because it was just um, it was just like, it, it was different, but it, it weren't for me. And that's not to say the plug-in's not good. Um, it just weren't for me. Whereas when you've got, let's say for argument's sake, you've got FabFilter Pro Q3 and then you see all these other different plugins, EQs come out and you start using them and it's like, yep, it's it's a plugin. It's it's an EQ and it sounds just like Pro Q3. And it's often, I don't know, I don't know if it's a case of people are using the same sort of, you know, inside juice using the same not templates but using the same modules and everything i don't know if that's the case and it's just like it's just it's all the same plugins with different guis and it's like now a, a fight for whose gui is the best and uh, to be honest I, I when it comes to eqs i don't think you can beat um fabfilter pro q3 for its gui um and i'm i'm just at a point now where I've got FabFilter Pro Q3. I use it a lot, and anything I compare to it, it's it's just not not the same. It's not, like it, well, it is the same. It's just it's just a different GUI of the same thing. Like why would I spend all this money on on a plugin? And the, here's the thing with a plugin is, when I buy plugins, what ends up happening? I love them for about a month, and then it it goes into a folder and I never use it again. Um, plenty of plugins but the the ones that I always use I've got a select set of plugins that I will always use and they're they're brilliant and I just find that that the more we buy more and more plugins and the more and more plugins that come out there's nothing new nothing different um you know we're we're in the process at the moment and we have been over the last couple of years of building our own set of plugins and the the way that we're approaching that is to Build plugins, like a plugin EQ, for instance, build it exactly as we want it. And even if it, it sounds pretty much the same as something like FabFilter Pro Q3, making it so that it, it includes all of the elements that we actually want. Um, and they're going to be more for us, and we will most probably put them on sale as well for people to buy. But... Yeah, it's just a case of things aren't buzzing me at the moment, and I'm a bit, bit kind of like every time I see plugins come out, I'm just a bit like, Meh. I'll try them out, and I just can't find plugins that that really um, are really something new and exciting and something to be excited about. Um, it's been years since I got excited about plugins. You can tell by the tone of my voice, it's just I, I feel depressed about it. Because it's just like I want to see the industry progress. I want this these new plugins that like wow it does this does what I don't know, 
that's that's the issue we all have is it, anyone that's developing a plugin is what do you build like the only thing that seems like if you're building an eq what do you actually build in that eq and i kind of it's tricky and i i ain't got the answers <laughs> um but what do you build into it that's something new and exciting? What 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 would be like, like someone needs to really think out the box. Um, so, yeah, I mean, maybe this is a little bit of a rant video, but it's, it's something that I hope will change over a period of time. I think what actually needs to happen is like a new kind of standard format of like, I don't know, VST4 or something that really kind of opens opens the the industry up to massive developments in the plugin world that then we can maybe get plugins that emulate hardware really well but until that time comes i don't really know what to suggest just hopefully something comes out that really interests me and I mean, look, don't look. People don't watch this and stop sending me your plugins. If I if I get one of these plugins and I use it, and I'm like, yeah, this is a really good plugin, I'll shoot a review on it. But yeah, plugins ain't buzzing me at the moment. They're just not exciting me, and that's a shame. And I hope that changes.